99.9 WHAM. Wham Radio. Season 6, Episode 2. 99.9 WHAM. Wham Radio presents the new Wake and Bake Show. Wake up. Get baked, rock out, laugh, and have a good time. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. I'm Wake. And I'm Bink. Thanks for tuning in. We got lots of great music, fun topics, and even dancing bubble rock time all coming on up. Along with some great tunes and some fun facts. But not before we enjoy a word from our sponsors. Only here on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Your hits from yesterday to today. We may reflect a few switches on the soundboard and commercials broadcasted over the radio station. Hey, would you do me a favor and go outside and check on the radio tower? Make sure we're broadcasting at 2.4 gigahertz. Okay, bird dog. And what do I do for now? Then change it so it does. Duh. <laughs> okay, got it. You know, it's 4 a.m. My brain ain't working this early in the morning, Lean. Your brain ain't never working. <laughs> That's true. All right, I got it, Lean Dog. I'll be right back. I'm not Lemur anymore. I'm Bake now. Remember that. Now hurry back. In a minute, we got a jug break to do. And here, don't forget to put in these earplugs, because I'm going to crank the speakers up so we can rock out. Yeah. Hus, H, I, B, B. Why should I? <laughs> you think I could use that on the radio, Liam? Uh huh, uh huh. Um, I don't know. Fine, I'll just give it a shot and see if it works. But I'll be back in a flash. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> see, I'm already back. I'm just joshing you. But don't doubt it. <laughs> I know. Now go, 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 go. Hurry up. Rocky ran through the doors of the radio station booth, through the office, outside, and up to the roof to jerk the tower. He talked to himself when he got there and said, Hmm, what's this I see? We're only broadcasting at two point hook gigahertz. Liam said to crank it up, right? But what was it to again? I was thinking about Fauna and her new teddy and missed out on some of what he may have said. <laughs> well, poo in my pasta. I guess it's just gonna have to go to four point gigahertz. It is the highest, and Liam Dog did say we were gonna crank it up and rock out, so I'll just do that. Rocky would crank the dial up to 4.8 gigahertz. What? And then shimmy off the roof. He would quickly run back inside to Lemur out of breath. As he got there, Lemur held his finger up as he did a break. We hear Lemur go over the radio, but we don't see him talk. What type of voodoo magic is this? Don't worry about it. It's because it's pre-recorded. He just sat there and worked the board for levels, making it sound juicy. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. This weather and traffic report is brought to you by Finger Blaster. The finger flavor chip that's fun to blast in the dim. <laughs> I've done it a few times. It is fun. Also, Channel 1 News. Number 1 in news. So for today's weather forecast is going to be a great one. Expect there to be a mix of sunshine and clouds with the highs around 77 degrees. And it looks like all we want is a rinse and repeat of today. Now let's take a look over at your traffic. 787 north and southbound looks great. There's a disabled tractor trailer in between exits 3 and 4 on 87 south, so just be careful because police are on the scene. Everything else looks good up here, turtles, llamas, and lemurs. Hey, <laughs> yeah, lemurs. <laughs> Holy here on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio, your number one radio station. Broadcasting all over Eagle Falls. Your hits from yesterday to today. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Lemur would play with the board and turn off the mic and wave Rocky inside the studio. As Rocky walked inside, the phone would ring and Rocky would pick it up and say, Hello, 99.9 Wham Radio, this is Wake speaking. Tell me that you're all right. Yeah, everything's all right. Why, what's up? Oh boy, you're up real early today. Give me a reason. To Fauna, are you okay? Tell Fauna you gotta go. We gotta pre-record the next break. Have her text you. Fauna, we just started the show. I gotta go. Liam's being a pain in my butt already. Text me. Rocky hung up the phone and said, So, what's first, bird dog? First, put in your earplugs, because I'm cranking it up now that you're here. Next, let's do the song name game. Okay, I can't wait to see what songs you've selected. The song on the radio would end at Lemur and Rocky 
would do their jog break. 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. I'm awake and I'm big. How this morning, Mike and I were talking about how different songs make you feel slash or want to do certain things. So I picked out a handful of songs and I'm going to play the clips for Wake. And he's got to tell me what these songs make him want to do. We also invite you listening to call us up here at 555-5555. That's 555-5555. And tell us what you want to do when you hear certain songs. Okay, now let's do this. Yeah! Okay, okay, chill out. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Huh? But wait, how did you know? Ew, gross, TMI. Tomatoes, mayo, and instruments? Yeah, you got it. Good job. No, you idiot, it's too much info. I know, Bake. I was just messing around being silly. Quit being lame, bird dog. Yeah, okay, I'll try. <laughs> okay, let's start. What's this one song make you want to do? This song makes me want to get up on the couch and try to do a scissor kick in the air and punch some pillows and play the recorder I got from high school and hunt summon the mighty monster of the Sea Dragon Zord Lord. Speaking of monsters in the sea, don't forget to eat chicken by the sea tuna. It's not chicken, it's tuna. So you know what that song makes me want to do? No, what? Lift my shoulders up by my head and start bobbing it back and forth while it looks like I'm walking, standing still. What? What the hell did you just describe to me? I have no clue. <laughs> but you know what? It sounded pretty shatter. I'd pay money to see that. <laughs> okay, bird dog, so what's the next song? Okay, Wake, here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> this one makes me want to go to a rave wearing a black light t-shirt and get y'all wasted. I'm not gonna lie, this song makes me think of like driving a car in a blizzard. We got a caller on the line. Hello, I'm Wake. And I'm Bink. So, listener, do you have a song that you do weird things to? So you think you can love me and leave me to die? Whoa, what the? Who the hell is this? I swear I know that voice. Flame, look at the caller ID. I mean, um... Bake, look at the caller ID. Lieber looked down at the caller ID and realized that it was Ramona, his neighbor. Oh, baby, can't do this to me, baby. Just gotta get out, just gotta get right out of here. Wow, listen to the pipes on this one. You sound amazing. Oops, sorry, not sorry, I uh, accidentally hit the end call button. Papa, that caller was right. That song she was singing does seem to always send people into a frenzy. Speaking of frenzies, have you checked out our online episodes of Wham Radio? Don't forget to listen to all 50 plus episodes and more coming soon. And also check out the Rogue Defender Season 1. 13 cool episodes of super-powered people with a twist. Season 2 is totally coming soon. Check them out here, only on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Now, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's 5.15 a.m. No, Bake, it's time to rock. <laughs> Rocky reached over to Lemur's soundboard and pushed a button, and a song would start to play. Lemur would push his mic away and turn them off and say, One, don't ever touch my board. I'm the guy who pushes the buttons. That's what I'm getting paid to do. Okay, then what am I doing here? Two, I didn't know that mom played the songs from the catalog. That's pretty shatter. How did you know to do that? Fauna, bro. She trained me on the board last week. Well, that's cool. Thanks for showing me that. But most importantly, and finally, three, your purpose is to be the voice. Make people laugh. Have fun. So if I'm the voice, then why is our mascot an angry duck? Shouldn't it be like me smiling? <laughs> Rocky imagined his smiling raccoon face as the Wham! Radio mascot. Can you dig it? I can. It's better than the stupid angry duck. Like, why is the duck angry? Damn, there was something I wanted to ask you, but I can't remember. Any chance I can get you to run over to the bowl bag and get us some breakfast to go? The bowl pack? Oh, they have the best curl of song. You see what I did there? I, I, I rolled my R. They butter them up inside and out, and they're freaking huge. They're like the size of my stubby tail. Hey, how did your tail become stubby? I know the story you tell everyone is fake. I want to know the truth. That's a story for another time. Huh. <sighs> 
Ugh, I hate running. A fat raccoon shouldn't have to run. It's not adorable when we waddle. It's just sad. <laughs> it is sad. Okay, Lame Dog. I'll be back in five minutes. We see Rocky waddle out the door. But before we follow him, let's go back inside to Lever, as he says. Wow, this is the first time Rock didn't take my money to buy food. <laughs> this is great. We should do the morning show more often, especially if it means Rocky's paying. Hey, <laughs> yeah. All right. Shatter. Wait, could this be the day, Lemur, where everything turns out good for me? Oh, my bugs, Bunny, I hope so. Rocky flew out the door to the radio station and waddled across the street to the bowl pack restaurant. As he walked inside, he was blown away by the amazing smell of the yummy food, but also on how dead it was. Whoa, what in the sucking vacuum cleaner is this smell? Oh, wait, did it, does it always smell like this? Yeah, I think so. I don't know, I'm pretty baked when I come in here. <laughs> it's weird to be in here and not be stoned. If you want to be my lover. No, thanks. Um... Just two big croissants, please. It's for the Wake and Make Morning Show over at Wham Radio. Friendship never ends. So, does our friendship mean I get a free croissant? Hello! Is there any money in there? Not if you can hear me. The woman would walk away and the manager would walk up to Rocky and say, Is there anyone at home? Um, yeah? Hi. My croissants would be nice. Come on now! I know that you're feeling down. Huh? What? No, I'm feeling hungry, not down. The manager muttered something to himself, but Rocky couldn't hear him say anything. He looked all around and noticed that they were listening to Wham! Radio. He quickly would pay the manager and run out the door and head back to the radio station. As he arrived, there would be the big red light and it would be lit up, which meant Lemur was doing a jock break. 99.9 .9 WHAM Wham! Radio! Number one for your hit from yesterday to today. So... I'm going to see if anyone's paying attention out there, and it's time for Dancing Bubba Rock Time. That's two songs. Go head to head, and you call and vote for the winner. I don't even know the songs, because I let Wake choose them. So let's get to it. Here's song one. So, what did you think? Hold up before you make your decision, because here's song two. So now it's your turn. Give me a call here at 555-5555. That's 555-5555. Here's a quick word from our sponsors, and then we'll be back with some more music. Only here on 99.9. WHAM, 
Wham Radio, your hits from number one to today, being broadcast all over Eagle Falls. What was it? Wham Radio. <laughs> Lemur would see Rocky and get up and greet him and walk out of the studio and over to his desk. Rocky would quickly walk over to him and they would begin scarfing down on their giant croissant. While Rocky would say, Hey, lame dog, do you want to know what I realized when I was over there at the bow pack? What? How ridiculous and delicious these croissants are? Well, yeah, but you're right. But normally when I get one of these buttery bread folds of air of heaven, I'm normally pretty baked in a bakery about to eat a baked good. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, did my paws always look like this? Like, did I always have fur here? Liam, snap out of it. Are you stoned right now? No, I'm just a baked good in a bakery. <laughs> really? You couldn't wait for me. You'll get your chance and a few to smoke. Now come on, finish up eating so we can get back inside to the studio. We gotta start taking votes. Hi, Bird Dog. They were listening to our radio show over at the bullpen. The woman that waited on me was really good looking, but she said some pretty weird things. Oh, yeah? Like, what did she say? Well, the woman that waited on me asked me to be her lover, which was pretty weird, but then the manager showed up yelling at her, asking her if, hello, was there anybody there? Then it gave me my food and I paid for it. And here we are. Wow, can you ever go anywhere and not have something happen? Yeah, the bathroom. Oh, wait, no, that's not true. Remember when... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, please, no, don't finish that story. Now let's hurry up and chow down and get back inside the studio. I know you're going to tell me about your giant standing poop anyway. Ah, uh, I don't want to hear it. But everyone should hear that story. It's not only fun to imagine, but it's funny to think about. <laughs> a raccoon standing up from pooping such a big poop. Ah, come on, I'm eating. Both Lemur and Rocky hurried up and finished their croissants and rushed back into the radio studio. They took turn answering the two phones, saying, 99.9 WHAM! This is Bake. Who are you? Where are you from? And what's your vote? Chickadee China of the Chinese chicken. You have a drumstick and your brain starts ticking. Watch your X-Files with no lights on. With Donna Mays on. I hope the smoky man in this one and fuck a drink a drink a book 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 a samurai. I can't help but when I think of funny when you're mad. Trying hard not to laugh, but I feel bad. I'm the kind of lemur laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what you mean, but I soon will. It's been one week since I heard this awesome song. <laughs> 99.9 WHAM. Wham! Radio. This is Wake. What's your name? Where you from? And what's your vote, bird dog? And if you're drinking, then you know that you're my friend. And I'll say... And I'll think I'll have myself a beer. Woohoo! Ooh, what kind? Molson, Bud, Miller, Coors? Ooh, have one for me, buddy. I don't think it's too early in the morning. <laughs> Only 6.15. Hello? Yellow? Hello? 99.9 WHM Wham Radio, it's big. What's your name, location, and vote, please? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And all the chickies say I'm pretty high for a white fly. Um, okay. Yeah, I bet nobody says that about you. Wham Radio, who are you away from? What's your vote? I wanna rock! I want to rock! Um, okay. That's not one of the songs, Bird Dog, but I hope you could take solace in the fact that you're rocking with Rocky. <laughs> I mean, what you make? Eep. 99.9, what's your vote? <laughs> I said I want to rock and roll all night. No, it's morning, bro. 99.9, WHAM, Wham Radio. It's Bake. What's your name, location, and vote, please? One is the loneliest number that you ever do. You got it. Your vote's for number one. Two can be as bad as one because it's the loneliest number since the number one. Oh. Wait, so your vote's for two now? I'm confused. Wham well, Radio, this is Wake, and who are you? Sorry about my horrible singing voice. I was on fire. Holy smokes, then why did you call me? Call the fire department. Where did you go? I'm still here, are you okay? I could have died for you. Um, okay. Thank you for not doing that. 99.9 Wham Radio, it's Lemur. Ah, crap. I mean, Bake. What's your name, Boat, and where you from? And if only I could make a deal with God and get him to go swap a place. I'll be running up that hill. 
Keep running up that road, slow motion. Oh crap, I better hurry up and hang up this phone. Sounds like she's trying to do some weird voodoo crap on me. Hello, who are you waiting from? What's your vote? You're talking awake. First, it's Pixie from right here at Eagle Falls, and I vote for the first song. But you guys, I also have some breaking news. There's something weird going on all around town. Hang on, let me pat you in the studio. 99.9 WHAM WHAM Radio. Hey everyone, we're back with some breaking news. I'm Wake, and I'm Bink, and with us is, um, um... Oh, for Bugs Bunny's sake. Hehe, <laughs> Fauna could be Shake. Ooh la la. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she could. I like to see her shake those. Leave her! Focus, damn it! Sorry, sorry. Um, what we call you? Screw it. Pixie, what's going on? I'm always up at 6 a.m., but you guys, that's not the case. As I said, something weird is going on around town. Weird as in what? That's if it's something scary. I, I, I don't want to know. Well, I first noticed it with Tommy this morning after we tuned into your show. I was in the other room getting ready, and when I got back, he was stuck on a loop singing. Well, here, just listen. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. Pour some sugar on me. Come on and lap it up. I'm hot, sticky, sweet, from my head down to my feet, yeah. Oh, what did you do next? Did you pour some sugar on them and lap it up? Tell us, we're all dying to know. <laughs> I tried that, but it didn't work. He still kept singing that stupid song in a loop for over an hour. I ended up running out of the house into the store. I just figured it was a song that was stuck in his head and would be gone by the time I got back. But when I got to the store to get a cup of coffee, I noticed a few more animals with the same ailments as Tommy. I got back from my morning workout. Next, I hit up Fauna to see if she wanted me to get her a cup. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. So, they were singing songs that they heard us play over the radio station? I'm confuzzled. How's that bad? It happens to me, like, um, 20 times a day. Nice. Yeah. We're so good. We're getting the songs animals hear stuck in their heads. Hee <laughs> Shatter. Yes. Like the band. No, not Shatter. And not the same as when it happens to us normally. It's out as quickly as it's in and maybe lasts five minutes. That's what Fauna says about me, you know. <laughs> Ew, gross. You may want to practice on Vegs in that. It's true, she does. But you guys, don't you see? This time the songs are staying the course and, like, infecting the ones who are hearing it. Also, FYI, Fauna's been infected. Then Fofo? No! <clears throat> I mean, Fauna, the really hot chick that does the afternoons, practically runs this place, has been turned? Oh, no! Pixie, what do you want us to do? Lemur, you have to start playing nothing but commercials. It's the only way to snap people out of this, I think, and find the source of the problem. Well, Pixie, wait. How are you not effective? I'm a possum. I can play dead. That means all of me. Huh? What? I can control my hearing like I'm wearing a hearing aid. I normally have it turned off at home. I can also read lips. I'm good as long as... Oh, crap. Fauna got free. Because I hate the ocean, theme parks and airplanes, talking with strangers, waiting in line. I'm through with these pills that make me sit still. Are you feeling fine? Because I'm feeling fine. No, Fauna, stop. Don't play the music next to my... I'm giving up. I'm giving up slowly. I'm blending in so you won't even know me apart from this aura that shares our fate. Hey, hurry up and hang up the phone. Well, there you have it, folks. Apparently, we're experiencing technical difficulty. Please listen to these commercials while we fix the issue. Lemur would put on nothing but commercials and Rocky didn't talk to him. Hi, stupid earbugs are hurting my ears and driving me insane. I'm taking them off. Rocky hears a song played over the radio while Lemur and him exit the radio booth. Rock, did you take your earbuds out? Uh, oh no, Lem. I heard the song on the radio and now I'm trying so hard not to recite it. Ah, oh, crap. It's okay, little bird dog. I got you. I'll hurry up and find the issue and fix the problem. Somehow. There. There. Now we're only playing nothing but commercials for a hot minute. Lemur, do you think they'll drop the bomb? Like what? The F-bomb? I don't know. I mean, sometimes you gotta do it, but just don't do it on air. Lemur, do you think they'll like my song? No, shut up. You're being stupid. Oh, crap. You're not even you anymore, are you? Lemur, do you think they'll break my ball? I thought you didn't have any since you met Fauna. Hehe. <laughs> Cobra burn! Oh. Ah, Lemur, should we build the wall? No, stop. Come with me. Into the prize closet. And we can... There, that takes care of that stupid annoying problem. 
Now, let's go check on the transmitter. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Hush now, baby, baby, don't you cry. Rocky's gonna take all of your nightmares away. Lemur quickly locked Rocky in the prize closet and went outside onto the roof and checked on the transmitter. Everything looked fine, but then he noticed that they were broadcasting at a lot more higher gigahertz than what they should be. Lemur would quickly adjust it to the correct levels and get down. He would go inside and go back to the prize closet and knock on it, saying, Hey, Rock, how you feeling? Lemur, should I run for president? <laughs> yeah, okay. And while you're at it, why don't you just jump over the moon with a holy cow? Lemur, should I trust the government? You don't even trust yourself. Why the hell would you trust the government? Unless you were the president. What the hell's going on? Are you back to being you or are you singing a song? Because I was really hoping that when I fixed the transmitter that you'd be back to normal. Lemur's phone would ring and it would be Chuck Wood. He answered, saying, Chuck, what's good, he bird dog? Eh, nothing, you know, just checking up with friends, doing the rounds, seeing how things are with my peeps. Peeps? Like the marshmallow ducks that blow up in the microwave? <laughs> what? No, no, they don't blow up. Anyways, if only the real ducks blew up with intensive E. What douche muffins? Salim, listen, the theme park's doing pretty good. You should gather the gang and come for a visit. Stay in the lodge, all expenses paid. We'll have a good time. Bring everybody. Wow, that sounds really great, Bon. It would be great to catch up when things aren't so crazy around here. Uh, yeah? What's going on? What did you do? I didn't do anything! Okay, what did Rocky do? Well, he cranked the gigahertz too high on the transmitter, and now the town's gone crazy repeating the last songs that they freaking earned. Only you and I are unaffected that I know of, and I have no clue as to why you and I aren't affected. Okay, listen up, Liam. I had a problem like this over at What Radio before it crashed and burned. I think it's something to do with your tower and it being broadcasted at a higher gigahertz. But people have been infected. It's now time to contain it and destroy it. Wait, 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 hold up. What radio didn't crash and burn? It's still there. I meant figuratively, not literally, you idiot. Oh, okay. So, how do I destroy it? So, I think I'm unaffected because I wasn't listening to your stupid radio station. Are you wearing earplugs? Because that might have been why you're not affected. Yeah, I always wear them because the studio has a great sound system and I crank it up. But I don't want to blow my lemur ears out. That's what I thought. Anyway, I had to find an artist with a song that was so catchy that it drew everyone in the office crazy. Find that song and play it on a loop. But what the hell's the name of the song? I think I may know where it is. I'll grab it and bring it to you in five minutes. Wait, wouldn't that make things worse, though? Playing the song on a loop? No, Leem, you see right now, you have different people hearing different songs on repeat in their mind. When it's playing in their mind, they don't even realize it's playing. But when they start hearing the same song on repeat in their minds and all over town and from everyone else, they'll grow sick of hearing it so much. Oh, wow, Bird Dog, that's smart. I understand. Now get here as fast as you can, please. I think I just heard some pitter pattering around the wham off it. I'll leave the side door propped open. Is Rocky infected? Leem? Hello? Hello? Sorry, I thought my silence was clear that he was. Lemur, this ain't the time for jokes. You're not out of the woods yet. You can still get what everyone else has. Crap. What? How? Because, stupid, it's like a cold. Until they get medicine, they can pass it on to you. I just found the song for you to play and drive everyone crazy. I'm on my way now. Hold on, little buddy. I'm coming to save everyone. Lemur hung up his phone and continued to hear footsteps and bitter pattering around the cubicles. He looked all around, but would not see a thing. He worked his way to the side door and propped it open for when Chuck arrived. When he turned around, he would see Rocky, who would sucker punch him in the face, knocking out one of his earbuds. What the hell, Rock? Wait, hey, how did you get out of the prize closet? Rocky snatched the radio and turned it on and started walking towards Lemur. Oh yeah, go ahead. Do your worst, bird dog. I figured out what was going on and made preparations to fix it all. Hush now, Lemur, Lemur, don't you cry. Rocky's gonna make all of your nightmares come true. Rocky's gonna put all of his fears into you. <laughs> Rocky's eyes would start glowing pink 
and he would walk towards Lemur singing a song while a different one played through the radio. About five minutes pass and we see Chuck arrive at Wham Radio. He jogged over to the back door and would see it propped open. Go inside and scream hello before talking to himself. Hello? Lean? Rocky? Hello? Lemur? Rocky? Mother Falcon, I'm out of shape. I gotta work out a little more. I quit eating junk food. Drink less beer? Ah, that's Monday Chuck's problem. Friday Chuck has to save the town. As Chuck walked inside and looked around, he went over and creaked the door into the reception area, but would see nothing. He would start to take a tow through the building and make his way to the radio station booth. When he turned the corner, he saw Rocky and Lemur inside and talked to himself. Crap on a cracker. Hmm, that sounds pretty good right now. Damn it, focus, Chuck. Okay, okay. I think Lemur and Rocky are both infected. So it's up to me now to fix everything. I think I have a plan. Inside the booth, Rocky would see Chuck and run out to see if he needed to be turned. Hi, Chuck. Do you think it's dangerous? I don't know, but this one goes out to all the ladies out there that want to know what us guys talk about when they're not around. Rocky's eyes would light up pink and Chuck Wood would knock him out. Lemur would come running out to Rocky's aid, and Chuck Wood would be waiting for him to scissor kick him in the face, knocking him out as well. I'm sorry, Lemur. Rocky, that's what you get, bitch. Steal my woman. With both guys passed out, Chuck Wood would go over to the old record player and play the album he had brought to save the day. He put down the album and set it on a loop. Next, he would write a quick note to Lemur and Rocky and get the F out of there. The song that played over and over again would be the Bud song. After an hour of being passed out, we see it's now 8 a.m. Lemur and Rocky would awake on the floor of Web Radio Studios with Lemur saying, Oh, my aching head. What the hell happened? I don't know, Lame Dog. I can't remember a thing except for my face hurts. Did I walk into a door or a wall or something? Don't look at me, I don't know. If you're thinking I threw you, that's not true either. I haven't done that in a hot minute. Oh crap, a radio show. Come on, let's hurry up. Lemur and Rocky got up off the ground and scrambled to the mics. And without a beat, at the end of a commercial, appeared back on the radio. 99.9 WHAM. Wham Radio! Number one in Eagle Falls and your hits from yesterday to today. So what do y'all think of our fun experiment? What spearmint, Mike? Experiment, you dummy! The one listener out there isn't all minty fresh. Hey, here she could be, you don't know, for sure. You know, my mind's baked. He <laughs> finally, I know, right? We were just saying. Oh, you know, the experiment of playing the buns on a loop for an hour? <laughs> and don't announce on air that you're high, because nobody's supposed to know. But, Bake, it's how I do everything. And our spearmint, I think it sucked, and we should go back to the rock faster. Um, yeah, I think you're bird dogging right. But before we do, stay tuned to hear how you can enter to win a date with Lemur. Ain't nobody gonna enter that. <laughs> and don't forget, we also got today's birthday death day dedication. Along with the top five weed strains you wanna smoke and why. Here, stuck on you. Only here on 99.9 WHAM Wham Radio. Lemur would turn off the microphones and music would start to play. Rocky would say, So, do you want to explain to me what the hell happened to us, bird dog? Like one minute we're doing a radio show and then the next we're on the ground waking up. I understand maybe you, cause you got to smoke a little bit of pot. Lucky. But what the hell is my excuse? I think I remember. Hey, wait, there's a note on the back of the door. Grab it. Rocky went and grabbed the note, and him and Lemur exited the studio and went over to their desks and read the note. We hear the note read in Chuck Wood's voice. It says, Hey, posers. It's me, your BFF, Chuck Wood. So there's no easy way to say this. But you both got bamboozled with the radio transmitter having the gigahertz set too high. It happened to us all the time at what radio? And I may have had to knock you both out, but I did it to save the town. I guess you can say you owe me. Love you both. Sincerely yours, Chuck Wood. 
P.S. Go fuck yourself. I, Rocky J. Coon. Oh, Chuck Wood one. <laughs> Just saying those words gives me the heebie-jeebies. What do you think he has a mind, bird dog? Has Chuck and Wood? I don't know, but I think we're gonna find out soon. <laughs> oh, sorry, when I get scared, I fart. Well, damn, try not to get scared anymore. For a second, I thought I was smelling your breath. <laughs> but no, what came from your ass smelled a hell of a lot worse. It was the croissant. And so worth it. But hey, hurry up and grab your sheet. We gotta finish up the show. You got your sheet of top five marijuana strims? Yep, and all memorized. Number five is Bird Dog. It's a hallucinogenic. Four, Spider Guy. It's for energy. Three is Tor Gummy, and it's an aphrodisiac. Two is Mellow Yellow, which is a sleep aid. And number one is Serious Black. It's the best out there for taste and creativity. Oh, really, Bird Dog? I got number five. Shippy! That isn't your ween. Read the blurb about it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Grown in Eagle Falls by uh, Rocky Raccoon. Hells yeah, bird dog. Eat it and weep. Chicken. Cha, cha. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. What? You didn't know? I have a sister and she's got kids. And I am technically a monkey. So everything I said is true. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. And remember, keep your stick on the ice. Um, Rock, I mean, wake. Hello? No, I'm not saying it. I never got to do my birthday death day dedication. Okay, fine. Save the line and you can do it after the ending song. With our bloopers. Deal? Uh, fine. Okay, set it up. Have a great day, everyone. And keep your stick on the ice. And your heads in the clouds, bird dog. I'm Wake. And I'm Bake. And you can hear us only here on 99.9. W-H-A-M. Wham! Radio! Thanks for sticking around. Here's your reward. Some bloopers. Chicka cha cha. What's going on, bird dog? So here's the birthday death day dedication for April 15th. Let's start with the birthdays. <clears throat> Today is Chris Stapleton, who was born April 15th, 1978. Maisie Williams, April 15th, 1997. And Emma Watson, April 15th, 1990. Also, let's not forget about the legendary drummer Lance Lee James Trim. He is also April 15th, 1989. He's the best! And now for the death days. <coughs> Abraham Lincoln, April 15th, and Joey Ramone are April 15th. And once in a blue moon, when it's a Sunday and I think a leap year, it's Jesus, because it's Easter. Duh! Hee <laughs> Thanks for listening, everyone. Tell your friends, your mom, dad, kids, grandma, grandpa, and even your pets about our show. Hi, a listen, so listen. Have a good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. And like we said before, keep your stick in the clouds and head on the ice. Hey, wait a minute, we messed that up. Beep. And like we said before, keep your balls in a cup. Have some milk nearby for dipping. <laughs> <laughs> that joke never gets old. Beep. And like we said before, don't do drugs. Lame. What, we should at least say it once. <laughs> Beep. I like what's up before. Keep your stick on the ice. And head on the clouds, bird dogs. Now that's how your mother falcon do it. <laughs>